And what kind of songs do you sing at uh, in the church? So they have to be, obviously, if it's going to be a, a, a secular song, it has to be approved by the church. And there were only about three of them that I was allowed to sing that were not from the hymnals. Do you remember what they were? I do, because, oh God, I wish I could forget. But it was... <laughs> Rachel Segler just keeps finding ways to piss people off. I did a video a while back on uh, the Snow White and the seven mystical creatures or whatever. But it seems that since I posted that video, there's been a lot of discussion in the public sphere that has to do with her feelings and about the original source material, the original uh, Snow White story. And that has just taken off like wildfire. So stick with me because you don't want to miss this. This is, this is some hot, juicy stuff. But first, before we do anything else, I have to ask you to please hit that like button if you're liking my videos. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, please hit the subscriber button. Get notifications whenever I post new videos. Uh, really helps grow the channel. So um, looking at this Slate article that was written very, very recently, like in the last day or so, and its headline reads, How Snow White star Rachel Zegler managed to piss off both Disney fans and conservatives. And the reason why I'm, I'm looking at this particular article, I don't particularly like Slate, to be honest with you. Uh, but they were forced to admit that there are two sides here that just, that just dislike and detest what Rachel Zegler has been saying over the last couple of weeks. Let's look at this, uh, this Slate article. It says, An unholy union has come together to criticize the actor for her comments about the 1937 Disney classic. The latest heated debate to take over TikTok doesn't involve an influencer brand trip or a celebrity feud. It involves the upcoming live-action remake of Disney's classic 1937 animated feature, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. The upcoming addition to Disney's endless string of remakes is slated to be released in March 2024 and will star Rachel Zegler, yada, yada, yada. But let's scroll down a little bit further down. The new Snow White, I'm going to start right here. The new Snow White movie has already begun a target of, shall we say, traditionalists who are not happy about the casting of Zegler, who is half Colombian and half Polish as the famously fairest Disney prisoner. But see, that, that was the issue with the first video was it centered on her Latina roots or the fact that she's not really Latina anyway, but um, that was the whole diversity angle that I think Disney was taking. And so a lot of people were like, well, she's not, this, Snow White is not Latina. Snow White is a German, you know, she's white. And so there was a lot of, you know, backlash about that initially. So let's continue on. But as of late, Zegler has angered more than just the usual suspects. Beyond the narrow band of losers obsessed with maintaining the bloodline purity of cartoon princes. Now, come on, man. See, this is why I don't like Slate, because they're inserting their own stupidity in this. Whoever wrote this is an idiot. People of seemingly all kinds of political and racial demographics now appear to have a bone to pick with the 22-year-old actor, thanks to a few resurfaced clips of interviews in which Zegler discusses the progressive updates that the new version of Snow White will have. Well, gee, I think the writer might be a little upset that everyone's upset. Screw you, writer. Uh, below are att our best attempts to wadding through the fallout of TikTok's poisoned apple. <laughs> well, gee, when, po when TikTok is going your way, boy, they're great. But when they don't go your way, oh, boy, they're the poisoned apple. Boy, you know, this is why I can't stand reading some of these, these articles from these, these publications that are just, they're just hacks of, of the worst sort, really. But anyway, let's continue on. So uh, almost a year ago, Zegler, who had recently been announced as the lead of Disney's live action version of Snow White, gave an interview and let's skip through all that, blah, 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 blah. However, it's not so much what Zegler said as how she said it that appears to have ruffled feathers by way of trying. I don't know. Well, maybe if you're stopped being so smug and condescending. Yeah, that kind of turns people off, man. By the way, uh, by way of training, I'm sorry, by way of trying to explain the film's progressive makeover, Zegler criticizes the original for very evidently being a product of the 1930s. There's a big focus on her love story with a guy who literally stalks her, she says, calling that dynamic weird in a sing-song, seemingly sarcastic voice. Her version, Zegler says, is really not about the love story at all, a change she deems wonderful. Instead, it's about Snow White's inner journey to find her true self. And being the leader that she can be, as her father said, because, you know, all men are... Wait a minute, my father's a man. And he told me I could be a leader. 
Hold on a second. Am I going to listen to what a man says? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You know, Zegler is just toxic, man. Okay? If you're a Rachel Zegler fan out there, please check yourself into a, a mental institution. She spews antithetical drivel about the story, okay? And redefining Snow White. And that, and that that's, so, that's so sad because there was no need for it. Nobody asked for that. You know, who is who's who, who are these people who think that you can just change an old story because you want it to fit today's narrative? Not everybody believes that, man. Not everybody believes that. I'm sorry. I mean, and I'm not somebody who watches. I'm not somebody who watches Snow White. I'm not. And, and yet here I am coming to its defense because there's some people in this world. There's a lot of people in this world who just love the love story. They just do. Not just women. Guys, too. We like love stories, too. Sometimes she's just an unlikable, bratty, misguided young person that truly lacks self-awareness. This is a person that just not aware that what she's saying or is going to have an impact in the way that she does because she's so self-centered, okay? She is so arrogant that she just believes that whatever comes out of her pie, pie hole is just going to be, oh, that's just glorious, man. Oh, we're all just going to, oh, you're so great. You're just so great because you're wearing a Snow White dress. Oh, boy. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Um. She doesn't care who's bothered by her remarks. She doesn't care who's bothered by her remarks. Um, I like to watch Melanie Mac go boom. She's one of my one of the YouTubers that I like to watch. And if you don't follow her already, I suggest you do. She's fantastic. Melanie Mac go boom. And, uh, and I want you to hear what she has to say about this issue. Let's just check out what she has to say. It's just I get so sick of this because why can't a young girl watch the Snow White movie, the, the classic and aspire to be kind and gentle and sweet like Snow White. Why is that a bad thing? Or why can't a young girl daydream about when she grows up and her Prince Charming finds her? It's sweet. Girls like love stories. But they used to, like back in the 90s, early 2000s, we had some awesome girl bosses. I mean, Underworld is my favorite movie. The Kate Beckinsale vampire movie i love it the original one that's just my favorite um and so there is a cool way and a good way to do a girl boss but when you're taking a story that is a love story and you want to transform it into some girl boss thing and probably do it insufferably and you have a very entitled arrogant diva of a princess actress uh, taking the helm of that. It's just ridiculous. That was Melanie Mack go boom. And she just kind of illustrates a little bit of what I'm thinking and what a lot of other people are thinking. Not just you, not just YouTubers, but a lot of people who are just watching this, this story and continue to unfold. And we're all just kind of scratching our heads. Like who is this person? And why is she talking? And why does anyone care? Well, because she's the lead actress in a remake of a Disney classic. I think Disney is suicidal. I really do. Disney is trying to destroy it. They want to hang themselves from, from, from the ceiling. I don't think Disney cares how destructive Rachel Zegler is being with regard to the promotion of this story. She is destroying any positive buzz about the movie. Rachel Zegler has garnered more disdain aimed at her than apparently she has for the original Disney Snow White movie. Oh, my God. She's just pushing people to boycott this movie. She's pushing people to boycott this movie. And, you know, and if people do, I don't, I don't blame them one single bit. I know one thing. I mean, I'll probably make more videos about it because there are going to be more and more people talking about just how they dislike and how they, they just basically don't want this movie to become successful. They're going to celebrate when it bombs. Um, <laughs> Disney's doomed. I'm sorry. The way I look at this, Disney is doomed. The more they allow people like Rachel Zegler to spew their nastiness, to, to spew their ridiculous take on life. Like she's 22 years old. What do you know, kid? You don't know anything. You don't know anything. And so you're going to come out here and you're going to lecture us? I don't think so, kid. But I'm curious, what do you think? Do you like Zegler, Rachel Zegler? Are, are you a fan of Rachel Zegler? Do you think she's going to make a great Disney princess, do you find her to be a, a, a role model for young girls in this country or anywhere in this world? Please leave me a comment. DM, DM me if you're not comfortable with that. I appreciate all the support people have been giving me. Please, if I've earned your like, please hit that like button. If I've earned your subscription, please hit that subscribe or follow button. I really appreciate everybody out there and the support I've been getting. And this channel is starting to grow more, and I'm really, really grateful for that. So 
without that, without any more further ado, until next time, God bless. New Kingdom Radio Theater.